We have to try to call it many things and give it many names. But basically, we have come here to discuss our own security and uh, our peace. You are aware that the last few months, this county, along with others, have been under pressure. from certain elements who come across the border, but who have carried out many activities in this, uh, in this country. And the situation has reached an alarming rate, where we think that as a people, we need to determine our own destiny, we need to secure our own county. We need the ideas of everybody. Without necessarily having any problem at all with those who are in charge of our security. That is the national security team who are here, the national government, Minister of Interior. We don't want this to be a blame game. We don't want it to be one where we are blaming others for certain failures or what didn't happen. And I don't want anybody here in your contributions to talk about what did not work. Any failure, anybody whom you suspect has not done, anybody you informed of something who did not act, we are not interested in that. If you have any problems with the national government or the security team, you will hold your own baraza or your own meeting. But here, we have come on our own volition to come and look for a solution for a problem which affects our life. Under our role in community policing, that at the end of the day, the security of us, our property, our children, our land, our schools, our hospitals is our responsibility. And secondly, those others who are officially mandated to do that. Since the Second World War, there has been a transition to sharing of responsibilities, security responsibilities between what are called law enforcement agencies under the people. Those men who are recruited, trained, uniformed, employed, paid, directed, who, who operate under a certain legal framework and who come in many names. They could be in the intelligence, they could be in the police, they could be in the military, they could be in paramilitary. They come in many forms have a mandate for security, for law, for law enforcement, for the peaceful coexistence of everybody, but there's a limit to what those people can achieve. And the trend internationally has been people have taken a bigger role in peace building, in their own security, in the developed world. Today, in a country like the United States of America, there are three times as many security, uh, private security people than official security in the US and in Canada. In continental Europe, we have two times as many private security officials 
as um, the uniformed and official police. In fact, certain police stations in the UK are guarded by private people so that those who are uniformed can concentrate on other aspects of security where they have the legal authority to do. Why you don't need any legal authority actually to get a station. So instead of wasting those human resources to get a police station, private people get police stations, while those uniformed people, or non-uniformed people, but who are officially recognized by the law as police officers, go out to do other jobs, which they do better than getting a police station. So, under community policing, under neighborhood um, committees, under the Nyumbakumi Initiative, whatever method we use, why we have come together here, and why we are seeking your advice, your contribution, your thinking, and your diversity, is we want to secure ourselves. Because we have reached a stage where we think we simply need to do that. I know um, our friends who do this job sometimes might not watch, they may be territorial and I might not want to share. But I personally believe that there's absolutely nothing wrong if somebody wants to help you do your job. I want to give you statistics of the incidents of terror from January um, 